Hello, Phil. Another tech chat. You're joining me on today. So I believe, I believe today you want to talk about um, requests for quotes and uh, our API supporting an integration to VPress, I think, in this case. Is that right? Absolutely. It's a, quite a cool integration, uh, as you said, using the uh, the API. And for this, I've got a video to actually show you. So okay. we'll, I will share my screen and we'll have a look. So. Let me just fire it up and we can see that actually operational. So in this particular case, what we can see is the VPress core print system. Uh, we've logged in and as you can see, there's a variety of uh, classifications or categories, one of which is an RFQ. You can see there's a, a variety of sub options in here, but what we're just going to do is we're just going to dive into looking at one of these little products here, a bespoke brochure. Uh, little image there, but more importantly, you can see that there's some details that the user, as in like the end user, can fill in, like the new urgent brochure here, and they can specify the require by date and time, for example. And then um, the next information here, you see the title and the size details. This is basically information that's been mapped uh, basically to our uh, RFQ uh, custom uh, fields inside Tharston. And so they can actually select from the uh, designated options that are actually exposed to them. And this is kind of cool because they can fill in the uh, the actual detail, uh, which will actually come into Thast and, and become a, a, re a request for quote. It's a nice little way of uh, allowing them to actually enter the details, proofing, and whatever uh, elements you wish to expose to them. And they can put additional information as well, or, or any other um, important narrative that's important to the, the, the actual quote. And as you can see at the bottom there, they can actually enter in the quantities that they want you to actually uh, quote uh, for them. And then it's really a question that they can actually then either save it a draft or in this case, quite rightly, submit it. And they have a, a little uh, summary uh, page here, which is indicating all the details, the various quantities and the other technical details that they've actually specified. And it's in a status of waiting, as we can see. But what that's done is that's communicated with the Tharson system. And you can also see in this little window here, they can actually filter their request for quotes and the statuses in this case waiting. So they can see what's happening and almost like self-serve basically, which a lot of our um, customers have said they, they prefer to do. Mm -hmm. So inside the Tharson system, we can actually see that uh, we've actually got uh, a variety of different options here, but we're going to dive into the actual tasks. And, and these are the Tharson tasks. And as you can see, that has come in as an RFQ task into our system because I've actually put a little filter just to prove that there's other tasks in there. I'll just reapply that. So we can see that's uh, been inbound but unprocessed. And what we can do is open this up. We can see the new urgent brochure. Uh, we can see that it's been obviously uh, come from obviously VPress. And the custom fields button there opens up and it shows us all that information that uh, the, the customer filled in through the uh, the VPress corporate system, and you can see all the, the details in there, so we know exactly what it's going to be. And of course, um, from a faster perspective, we would actually hit blank to actually create a new estimate or possibly even uh, base it on a template or an existing estimate. So this opens it up, as you can see, with a little window, the panel, so the estimator can actually uh, cut and paste important information, but more importantly, see the specification details. So that's great. And then they're going through the conventional system of actually choosing the classification and product type that relates to that, obviously putting in um, the quantities uh, that are actually required. So this is what we're just doing here. And of course, we also need to specify the various parts pagination. And then we're just deleting, obviously, the, the cover because it's a self-covered document. Nice little feature that in Tharston. And uh, we're, we're looking here for the materials and the pagination. So we're just actually searching for uh, an appropriate material from our database. And we're just selecting the appropriate one that we feel is fit, obviously, for this particular specification with the associated uh, pagination size and all of the other details associated to that. And you can see in our process chain, we can actually select which processes we want. Click the OK button. And we get our manufactured solutions with a variety of different manufacturing um, devices inside the facility. And uh, as you can imagine, we're just choosing the top or cheapest solution. It's broken it down into its component uh, parts or, and we're then changing our pricing accordingly um, for a commercial process. In this case, you can see there's a 10% net profit, but we're increasing that to a thousand pounds or thousand dollars, I should say in this particular case. And we save it. And it's just asking, have we completed this? And we're going to say uh, yes to that particular process, which is then triggering back to um, 
feed press. And you can see that the RFQ task has been removed from our live task because it has been processed. Mm -hmm. but the big question is, well, what happens um, basically in the, um, the VPress, um, you know, sort of system? Well, we're just going to quickly show you that. <clears throat> Go back in there. You can see that the um, status there. We can refresh the page. We can see that the details are in there and you'll notice that it's gone to a quoted status. So yep. the user can actually dive in um, and they can basically see what the prices are against each of those items or the, the quantities uh, against that particular item. And then what they can do is they can, hopefully, as we, we all hope, they, they, they will order one of those quantities from us. Yep. So in this particular case, they're doing just that. And depending upon the implementation within VPress, you might want them to put additional information like cost centers, purchase order numbers, et cetera. And they then add this to their basket, like so. And then they proceed to checkout, fill in the respective details, um, you know, purchase order numbers, um, shipping addresses, etc., and they submit that, and that becomes an order. In this case, order one one two. But that also sends messages back to Tharston to actually convert that estimate into a job. Yeah, pretty uh, good. So, so you're demonstrating this a lot, Phil. What, what, what's the kind of business challenges or, or business aspirations, if you like, you, you, you're trying to solve with this, with the prospects and customers you're demonstrating it to? Well, uh, in principle, it is that some of um, our customers, end customers, want to self-serve. They they just want to be able to put the details in uh, yep. for it to go through that that storefront portal, and then for it to be actually be uh, processed by the printing company without uh, any communication at all. Um, some of the, some of the end users want to to work in that fashion, but equally, we've also seen applications where. Um, our customers have, have actually deployed this for their, their sales staff as well to do it on behalf of their customers. Uh, yeah. And that's really good from, a, from a, you know, a remote deployment perspective. And I'm just going to quickly uh, finish off the uh, video, if you don't mind, just to show the last final part. And you can actually see now that we're diving into the, uh, the job system and you can see our urgent brochure, what other type is there, actually has appeared with inside our jobs system and now be processed. And you can imagine that this could have also been submitted through a JDF submission, for example, and uh, gone through a, a variety of workflow steps. Um, so all in all, uh, I, I, I tend to think that that's a, a pretty cool uh, implementation and uh, very powerful in a, a lot of situations. Yeah, very good. Thanks for sharing, Phil, and um, see you again on the next Tech Chat. Thank you. Take care.